Good day everyone, welcome back to Sam's Watch Review. In one of the previous comments, someone suggested checking the accuracy of the step tracker on the Casio ABL100. Since I also have the G-Shock GDB500, I thought why not test both at the same time. For this test, I walked 1000 steps wearing both watches on my left hand, so I could still record video using my right hand. I started by resetting the step counters. In case you're not familiar with how to do that, from the timekeeping mode, I switch to the step tracker view, then press and held the two buttons on the right side to reset the counter to zero. I walked the first 500 steps at a normal pace while also counting manually. Then I paused and here are the results. Both watches showed almost exactly 500 steps. I have to admit, I may have missed counting a few steps due to distractions while walking. So honestly, these results are very accurate. At step 580, I paused again to swap the position of the two watches just to reduce any bias from arm movement. Then I continue walking. I reached the door at around 960 steps and walked a bit more around the house to complete the full 1000 steps. The final result is, for the ABL100, it shows 987 steps, while the G-Shock GDB500 shows 970 steps. As a note, the last 40 steps involved irregular movement, different direction, inconsistent swinging, and varied pace. So it makes sense that the watches might have trouble detecting those steps accurately. In conclusion, from this simple test, I would say that both watches perform great when it comes to detecting normal walking movements but they may struggle with irregular or non-standard movement, which is something to keep in mind. I would also love to know how does your Casio Step Tracker perform? Feel free to share your experience in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day.